Ready? Okay, we're gonna change the wheel on our punto, yeah? So, our wheel is in the back of the car underneath the mat, yeah? So we're taking the mat out. Next thing we do, we undo the center bolt that holds the wheel in. screwdriver I need a hand to wind it up yeah okay so our jack in here for one bit in the car and our spare wheel okay all right so we delete that for a minute and we come around here this is what we call a scissors jack yeah so we're gonna wind that down Right, with most cars you get a screwdriver like that. Yeah, these screwdrivers are universal. So you pull it out, you've got a Phillips, you've got a flat, yeah? We need a flat, so we put that in there. Really, you should have a scissors or anything, but if you haven't, put that in there. Twist it, snatch it off. Yeah, put it behind there. Okay, you get your hot cap off, yeah? We could just pull it off, should be able to. That much fuss. There we go. Right. Next thing we do, get our wheel brace. We've got to crack our wheel nuts. Yeah? So if you're pulling down on your wheel nut like that, nothing's happening. Just put it like that. There you go. That's snap. Yeah. Next one. Same thing. That one. Right, once you've got all your wheel nuts set, you get your jack and we're got the sink in the jack. You've got to find put it on the body of your car where it locates. Right, so it goes just between the um, seal. Yeah, so if you let the seal sit just in there, you take that down and stick it on there. Lift it off the bottom if you need to just to get it to sit in there. Wind your jack up. Once you get your jack up, get your handle, hook it in, spin it around. Just want the wheel just clearing the ground because we're not going to work on the car, we're just going to change the wheel. Put the bar in there, do that. This one, we could do that. Whichever is easier. Your wheel off. Yep, while well, we're here, these are brake pads. Just inside here, if I get my screwdriver, point it, that's your great brake pad, that's your caliper, and the bits just inside there, that bit there, that's your actual pad, and that's the metal. So sometimes if you're driving and you hear it a scraping, it means it's worn all that away. Yeah, that's about halfway worn, so that's okay. And this is your disc. Okay, that'll do. Sweet. Right, we've taken our tire off, we've pumped it up, 
I'll have to show you that in another video because it's so properly. Okay, move our nuts. Another thing is if you ever get up and you find your tire flat for no reason, just simply look at it, see if there's anything sticking in it why it could have gone flat before you go and buy a new tire maybe just a valve that's leaking so you could just get a pump it up and get some of that stuff they sell squirt that in it you're all right anyway got two little holes there which will locate over these two so if we do that that just put your foot at the bottom here just to hold it in place catch that one Catch that one. Catch that one. Catch that one. Then it's just a Get our hubcap. In our hubcap, if you look inside, there's a little cutout. Yeah. So where the cutout is, that's where your valve would sit. So there's your valve, there's your cutout. There you go. Hopefully it won't smash like this one. And that's it, job done. Sorted. 